This is the December 2022 ACT math test starting in uh, problem 16, form F07. It says a wheelchair ramp will be constructed for a public library. The ramp will extend 20 inches horizontally for every one inch vertical rise. So 20 inches horizontally for every one inch vertically rise, vertical rise. What will be the rise of the ramp is going to be 30 inches. So the rise is gonna be 30 inches. What must be closest to the horizontal length? I just did a ratio table, set it equal, cross multiply. And you have 600 inches equals X, but it wants to know in feet, so you have to do a unit conversion. So you have 600 inches divided by 12 inches in a foot, and you get 50. The answer is 16 for, is K. Number 17, Padma's teacher asked her to subtract three from a certain number. We'll say the certain number is three, is X. So we subtracted three and then divided the result by nine. Instead, she subtracted nine. So this is what she did. She subtracted nine and then divided by three, getting an answer of 43. What would her answer be? So we have to solve for X. Multiplying by three, you have X minus nine, 43. 43 times three is 129. And you add the nine for 138. That's what she got. Um, so that was X. So if we would have done it correctly, you take 138 and subtract the three then divide by nine, and she should have gotten 15. A is the answer. Number 18, on the local car dealer's lot, there are only 26 cars with a sunroof and 18 cars with cruise control. So 18 cruise control, 26 sunroof. The number of cars on the lot with both must be, it has to be 18 or less right? No more than 18 because 18 of them have cruise control. K is the answer. Number 19, lots of words, all right? All right, Hannah had to solve an equation. Confident of the quadratic formula. Did Hannah, what error did she make? All right, so it's the opposite of B. That's correct. Plus or minus B squared minus four times A times C. She multiplied by she multiplied by eight instead of negative eight, all over two A. So that's the mistake she made. She should have used negative eight. A is the solution. So you had to know the quadratic formula. The value of X is the opposite of B plus minus square root B squared minus four AC all over two A with the equation being ax squared plus bx plus c. So your coefficient to x squared is the a value. Your coefficient to b to x is your b and your constant is the c plugged into that equation. Number 20, every 10 minutes, channel seven begins a 60 second long commercial. All right, every 10 minutes. This is for channel seven. Every 12 minutes, this is for channel five. You can't read my seven, can you? This is 12 minutes. Each channel began a 60 long commercial. All right, how many minutes will lapse before both of the channels begin the commercial at the same time? So it's asking for the least common multiple. All right, so we start with the smallest numbers and ask if both of these numbers are multiples of it, 22, no, 24, 12 is, but 10 is not, 30, 10 is, but 12 isn't, 44, 
Neither one of them are. 60, both of them are multiples. That's the solution, number 60. Least common multiple question. All right, when Professor Soto began his trip to a mathematics conference, he noticed two digits are of the recorded temperature in degrees Fahrenheit had a sum of eight, all right? So that means the tens digit plus the units digit was eight. Later, he noticed that the two digits were reversed. All right, so that means the units digit was in the tens place, and that's the units digit. The units digit was in the tens place, and the tens digit was in the units place. Two digits that the had a, he later he knows that the two digits were reversed and that the temperature had warmed 18 degrees. So it was 18 degrees warmer than the original, which was 10 times the tens digit plus one times the unit. What was the temperature in degrees at the beginning of his trip? All right. So we can just plug this in and see which one works. That all of them add up to eight. I'm gonna start with 35. So does 53 equal 35 plus 18? I always start with C and that is the solution because 35 plus 18 is 53. So the answer is C. All right, given the function, these two function, what is the value is f of g of x. Okay, you work g of, first you work g of negative three. This says where you see an x in the g function, substitute a negative three. When we square it, we're squaring the negative three. So it's negative three times negative three, and the result is positive. So that's nine minus two, which is seven. Now we plug seven where g of negative three is, so it's f of seven. Now we're substituting seven where X is in the F function. So that's 28, 29. J is the solution. All right, 23. In the standard coordinate plane, A is located at four, nine. What is the location of the image of A that results as a reflection of A over the Y axis? When you reflect over the Y axis, the X coordinate changes. It's the one that changes, not the Y. All right, so it goes from four to negative four. So it's negative four, nine, C is the solution. Number 24, for every odd integer X, the expression X squared plus X results in, okay, so we're talking about odd integers. All right, so I, you just pick odd integers. So like nine squared plus nine. It's really gonna be um, like nine cubed. All right, so nine cubed is 729. But what if I did negative nine squared plus negative nine? That's 81 minus nine, which gets me 72. Nine squared, that's 81. Nope, this is wrong. It's 81 plus nine. It's 81 plus nine, which is 90. Okay, there's the pattern. Look, it's always an even integer. So, when we have an odd integer in that function. So just pick pick an odd integer. You could have picked five, you could have picked three. That would have been nine plus three is 12. All right, so just pick an integer. Do, do the math real quick, all right? What is the least, that means the smallest positive number that has a remainder, I just do this, has a remainder of five when divided by seven and a remainder of three when divided by five. All right, so 20. 20 is gonna have a remainder of six here, so not a remainder of five. 27, that's 21. That's gonna have a remainder of six. 33, 
um, 33, that's 28, 33, 4, 28. That's going to have a remainder of 5 and 5, a remainder of 3. This one would have been easier to start with. You go to all your 5s, right? Because it's going to be multiples of 5, and it's just 3 over. And then make sure it works here. All right, 26. Nomi is going to install baseboard around the perimeter of a rectangular room. The floor has dimensions of 15. It's 15 by 20, 15 by 20 feet. The two doorways are three feet wide and don't require baseboards. Assuming the average cost is 30 cents per linear foot, how much will it cost? All right, so it's the perimeter. So it's 15 and 15 and 20 and 20. How many doors? Two of them. So minus six, right, gives you 64. When you multiply 64 times 30 cents, it's $19.20. All right? Now this is time. There are always mistakes when you, when you look at time. Chow flies directly from New York to San Francisco. New York's time is three hours, three hours later. Um, so like if it is, if it's 12, then it's three in New York. All right. Three hours later. Chow left New York City at 730 which in San Francisco time is 4.30, all right? And landed in San Francisco at 11.12. How long was the trip? All right, 11.12, not 15. All right, you subtract 4.30, or you could just do this to 5 o'clock would be 30 minutes, right? Then we have... 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11. That's 6 hours and another 12 minutes. 6 hours and 42 minutes. The solution is D. All right, if you did the math, when you borrow from hours, you add 60 minutes, so that becomes a 7. So it would have been 6, 42. All right, you could have done the algebra. All right, always when you have questions under um, one set of data, you read the questions first, all right? Pet Snack is going to test its catnip ball on 200 domestic cats. Which of the following values is equal to the expected number of the cats that will not have a reaction, all right? So, Catnip is an herb that causes a reaction in 80% of domestic cats. So the ones that won't is 20%. So it would be 200 cats times 20%, which is 40, 40 cats, all right? Pet Snack sold 1,500 catnip balls in the seventh month. So 1,500 in the seventh month. Of operation in the eighth month 1550 given that its sales of these toys have has have followed an arithmetic sequence arithmetic means we're adding the same number every month so we're adding 50 additional catnip balls every month how much profit did she make in the third month all right so you have to go backwards. So the seventh month, and we go backwards. Six, five, four, three. So it's minus 50, minus 50, minus 50, and minus 50. So it's minus 200. So it's 1,300 is how many she sold. She makes a profit of 750. So you take the 1,300 
times 750 is 9750. The solution is B. All right, next month, we'll exhibit one box of each flavor, its entire line. By the time the company, by that time, the company will have three different flavors. So three different flavors of gerbil treats. Which of the following computations gives the number of additional orders which Pet Snack will be able to arrange its treats on the shelf given the new line of treats. All right, so right now, she has three different flavors, currently produces three different flavored treats for cats and four for dogs. So that's a total of seven, right? And it wants to know how many additional. So she had seven and now she has 10. Well, it's 10 factorial, 10 times, nine times, eight times, seven times, six times, five times, four times, three times, two times, one, minus seven factorial, how many she had before. So the solution is J.